Hi, this is video number four of chapter two of competition and in this video we are going to talk about import quotas and tariffs. Okay, so in many countries the government use import quotas and tariffs to keep the domestic price of a product above the world levels and thereby enable the domestic industry to enjoy higher profits than its pool under free trade okay so under free trade the price will be pw and if there were no free trade no no free trade i mean no world trade the domestic price will be p0 okay so in perfect competition with no uh, exchange with the rest of the world we will have the price of P0 and the quantity exchange of Q0, but imagine a product for which the price in the rest of the world is below our market clearing price. So we open our market, our domestic market, and we find that the price in the world is below our price. So what will happen? What will happen is that at this lower price, the quantity that the producer, the domestic producer, would like to offer will be QS. But the quantity that the consumer would like to demand at this lower price will be QD. As the price has decreased, the demand increases. As the price has decreased, the supply decreases. Okay. So what happened with, the, with this difference between QD and QS? This will be the quantity imported from other countries in the world so in a free market the domestic price will be equal to pw and a total of qd will be consumed and a total qs will be supplied domestically and the rest imported so when imports are just eliminated because the government decides to impose a quota or a tariff that just eliminates completely the imports, we will go back to the initial price of P0, then the import will be eliminated. The gain to the producer will be exactly A, because they will go back to the initial surplus, to the initial point. Okay, and if the consumers in the initial point when the market was closed, their surplus was exactly this triangle over or above P0 and below the demand, they will go back to the situation when the tariff or the quota just eliminates completely the imports. Okay, if the market is open to the world, the consumers will earn the areas A, but also B and C. Why? Because when the market is open to the world, the new price will be PW, and at this price, the consumer surplus will be the area above PW and below the demand. At this quantity QD, this will be all this triangle. So the consumers, compared to the situation with a closed market, will earn A, B, and C when we have an open market with no restriction, no regulation, no tariffs, and no import quotas. And in this situation, the producer will be worse off. Why? Because at this lower price, they will only earn this small triangle. The triangle that is under or below PW and above the supply. So they will lose A. But at the end, if the government decides to set an import tariff for a quota that eliminates imports, the producer will go back to the initial price and they will earn again A. Okay. So at the end, when the imports are eliminated, the price will be P0 and the gain to producers will be trapezoid A, they will go back to the initial situation and there is a loss to consumers which is equal to A, B, and C. So they will lose all what they have earned having an open market.
so the dead weight loss at the end will be B and C, only if the import quota or tariffs completely eliminates the input, because we will go back to the situation where we have a Q0 exchange and a P0, uh, the, the new price or the, the final price. Okay. But this is not interesting for the government. Why? Because they are not earning anything. They have no revenues from this from this situation. Why? Because the the tax cannot cannot be imposed on any imports because there are no imports at all. The imports are equal to zero in this situation. So what situation or which situation would be better for the government? A situation where the tax doesn't completely eliminate the imports or the quota. The quota doesn't eliminate the imports completely. Okay, let's see the situation where the tax, the tariffs to the import is this, upper, upper case T. So the tariff will be this uh, difference between PW, which is the price when the market is open to the world, and P star. This will be the tariff. P star minus PW. Okay, so the new price after the tariff will be P star, and at this price, the quantity supply increases compared to the situation where the market was completely open with no regulation, which would be around here. Okay, so this would be the new QS. And what happened with the quantity demanded? At this higher price, the quantity demanded decreases compared to the situation where the price was PW, which would be around here. Okay, so the quantity demanded decreases until here, and the imports decrease. The imports decrease because the price is set at a greater point okay so the new import will be again the difference between the quantity demanded at this price and the quantity supplied at this price the quantity the domestic quantity supplied and the domestic quantity demanded okay so at this new price there is a loss for consumers which equals to the area a b d and c the consumers are going to lose exactly all these areas because the new price will be P star. So the new consumer surplus will be the area above this P star until here and below the demand. Okay, so some triangle around here. And what happened to the producers? The producers are going to earn exactly the area A. Why the area A? Because they are selling at the price P star and the quantity that they sell is QS. Okay, so this is what they are earning. This is, will be the producer surplus. The area under P star and above the supply, all this triangle. So at the end, we also have a revenue for the, for the government and the revenue for the government will be equal to the imports, the quantity imported multiplied by the tax, which will be P star minus PW. Okay, so exactly what the government is going to earn with this policy is the area is represented by the area D because this is the base of this Rectangle is the, the imports, QD minus QS, and the height is T. Okay, this is the area that the government is going to earn. So at the end, the only areas that are lost completely for the society are the areas B and C, because nor the consumer, neither the producer, neither the government are going to earn B or C. So these are the dead weight loss or the decrease in welfare for the society, B and C. And that's all for this uh, video. See you in the next one.